How was the Medal of Honor awarded to a young drummer boy from Kentucky? William Horsfall was a uh, teenage drummer boy during the Civil War who was from Kentucky, who's most famous for winning the Congressional Medal of Honor. The actions that he took that earned him the medal happened when he was 14 years old. He was a runaway who wanted to enlist in the Union Army. William was acting as a drummer for the 1st Kentucky Infantry, and they were in Corinth, Mississippi um, in the beginning of 1862. The musicians, the drummers, and the fifers, they're the ones beating out the command, telling the Army what to do. At some point, he was probably ordered to the rear. He makes it clear in his own writing on the topic that he instead grabbed a gun and was helping out. When their captain was shot um, between the Confederate and Union line, William was asked by a commanding officer if someone can save him, they should, which sounds pretty weird for a grown man to ask the youngest person probably there to do that. But he recalls leaning his gun against a tree and running out to drag the captain to safety. He managed to bring him back to the line where he was given medical attention and the captain went on to survive the war because of his actions. The Medal of Honor was new. The Civil War was the first time that medal was ever used. There hadn't really been a high honor like that given and so Abraham Lincoln, it was established under his presidency. In each branch, the Medal of Honor differs in the appearance. The one that William Horsfall was originally given, which we house up in the Kentucky Military Muse History Museum, looks very different than the one that he was reissued. So he actually has two um, because the government redesigned the medal to have like the characteristic blue ribbon that we see today and so he was given another one at the turn of the century. What we have in our um, museum archives here is we actually have a lock of Horsefall's hair. Interestingly his hair even matches his military records where they give his hair color and eye color and things. Um, and we have several of his service medals at the Kentucky Military History Museum including both versions of his Medal of Honor. I hope, um, as especially as a museum educator who works with children a lot coming here, is I love to point him out when we go to that museum of showing what young people in Kentucky can do, the impact that they can have on Kentucky history, um, that nothing they do is too small. To learn more, visit us online at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfurt, I'm Doug High.